This is a rather simple but very useful little tool that I use when I'm setting out both my um, story items within Betterworks, but more importantly where things are in the section view of any domestic property that I do, in fact virtually any other property really. Um, but it's simply a, um, a set of brick coursings set out and I've set down a, um, a simple foundation and from that I've taken up my brick coursings and my block coursings and I've just basically set up and this one's got I think 80 courses in and it's um, a single um, single story um, type of uh, bungalow and I've set it out as you can see on a view on a viewport within a sheet um, I think that's 1 to 20 and that one is 1 to 50 and I basically printed out to an A4 sheet and I use it as you can see in the, the other photograph on the um, on the sheet here that I've got uh, to set out the stories where they are in vector works which ones I want to use and how I want to use them but more importantly how things work in terms of the ground first floor windows roof height and everything else and they're all related back to the uh, the brick coursings now on a, on a previous version I did, I actually put little numbers down the side here so I knew which coursings they are and um, it's, it's very useful when you're trying to set out um, everything else. So how did I make it? Well let's have a quick look. Uh, what I've got here is um, uh, a design there which is where I put um, the original and it was done some time ago. In fact I've had this for so long I can't remember when I, when I made it. And uh, it's been around for quite a bit, uh, as you can see. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how I do uh, how I did it. Now, a little practice I did before. I made up a new course and um, design layer. And there's the uh, there's the blank sheet. Now, what I want is my uh, naught. I want my naught thin. I have three noughts simply because I find that sometimes I just want to play around and sketch out, and I want something blue to make it stand out. And also I want a thick and a thin, um, and I want to make it um, a little bit more um, uh, bolder. So I've got that, and I'm into uh, a single line there. And what I want to do is just to drop that down like that, and then I need to go across here, and I want these 100. I've got a 100. Uh, there you go. There's the 100. And then just go another hundred and another hundred. So I've got my inner brick, a cavity, and the outer brick or block and brick. Now at the bottom, I've got um, put a little line across here. I take my trim tool and I'll just trim those off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little foundation up there, and I like to show a 300 foundation, um, which is probably normal. For, there is 45 degrees, there is 45 degrees, take those up, whoops, no, take those up, take that up, and then trim that off. And you've basically set up now a very nice um, little foundation level um, to start everything off. Now what I'll do is I will go in and I will draw in um, a little line here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a symbol up. If I go back to the, um, the original one and design there, you'll see that these are symbols in their own rights. And so I've only drawn one and I've just copied it across many, many times, which is the way to do it. So I'm going on to brick and block design there, and there I've got my first one. I want uh, a 10 mil line to go across there and then I want a 65 line there because that's the brick and block. Now what I'll do is I'll just go out of that. Now I'll, I've already got this set for some reason to fill style and I think it, it is already being set to brickwork because I've just been practicing. So what I'll do is I'll go into, into that tool there which is the 2D polygon tool, and I'll set it to the uh, to the fill, and I'll just go down there and I'll fill to the lines. 
Now, for some reason, that's taken up as a backline. Um, can't think why. Oh, because I've got it set to that, it's probably defaulted to it. So what I'll do is I will go down here. Um, it's already selected. I'll go down to Hatch, and I'll reset it to Hatch. Right, so there we are. There's a little uh, brick and block. No, I haven't done the block yet. So let's do that. Let's do exactly the same again as we did before there. I'll set that to 10 mil, as again it should be. Now, I want 215, because that is a block dimension. And again, I will, um, I will, I'll tell you what, let's go down to the, let's do it the other way and just show you what happened, because I didn't do it before. And that'll be black. So let's change that and let's just go down to my um, my hatch tool and it's brick. I don't want brick, I want something else because I want it to be um, more concrete probably. There you go, nice block. And I'll send that to the back. And again, that might I'll send that to the back just to make sure it sends out. Right, let's do some other work. Let's take and make sure I'm out of it and just highlight those there. What I'm going to do is modify. Create symbol and next mouse click. Oh, what a bit. Let's call this symbol um, brick brick template. I want to have the. I always use that point there to set it out with, and I'm going to put it into brickwork. I just have a cup of tea bit between me. Thank you very much. Right there we go. I've made a little symbol up. And what I'll do is I click out of that and click back in. You can see the whole symbols now um, there and waiting. What I'll do now is I'll go into Edit, Duplicate Array. Um, I'm going to have 80 of them, and it's 75, because don't forget it's 65 and 10 for the cool scene. And I'm going to put that up. And immediately it set out a nice little list of 80 of them. Right, let's do this onto the blip. And made a symbol there yet so let's do that one and let's do uh, modify oh there we are create symbol and i'm going to call it block block temple plate i'm going to do that and i'm going to, again i'm going to make that point there my insertion point and i'm going to put it into brickwork i've made a symbol up go into edit duplicate array now i've only need 40 of these well, let's see what 40 gives us. It would be, be a third lesson. So I need to change that. I need to make that 225 to make it work. And um, no, I, 10 minutes have gone. I really don't want to make it anymore. So there you go. Um, a little bit more than the other one. So what I will do is I'll just go down to say that one and remove them off. Now, basically, I've got myself a very nice. Um, a brick coursing section which I can use. What I'll do is I'll make a viewport and let's go down to viewports and that's no border and I'll do there we are there's my and what I'll do then is I'll blah, 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 I'll view um, I'll create viewport I want everything I want to put it onto a new sheet layer just to show you how to do it and I'll leave that as being temporary and press OK and press OK now I'm going to leave it as 1 to 50 let's just see what happens now the paper scale is uh, A3 on this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, page setup I'm going to leave it as A3 which is what those um, sections are uh, sizes are there and I'm going to put it vertical on A3 because what I can do is I can um, go to my tool there I can change that to 1 to 10 no 1 to 10 is going to be far too big no 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 let's, let's change it let's, let's keep it 1 to 10 and just put it onto there and uh, it's from 1 to 20 I think would be a little better And when you print that out now, you will have a nice little template um, ready to print off, which you can use to set out your 
your ground, your foundation, your external levels, your first floor or your roof and your windows to brick floor things and it works very well for me. Hope you've enjoyed that. Cheers.